excuses and excuses. And the Bible says, Then said he unto them, Jesus if that is, a certain man who made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all came with one consent, began to make excuse. Look what the first one said. I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray ye have me excuse. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray ye have me excuse. And another said, I have married a wife. And therefore, I cannot come. You can't be too mad at that brother. That brother married a wife. <laughs> Verse 21 says, So the servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor, the maimed, the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. And the Lord said unto his servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come. Come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. So then I'll come up with one conclusion that people will find any excuse they can for not serving the Lord. Am I right about that? Yeah, they'll come up with them. Boy, you'll be amazed to hear some of the things that people will tell you about Jesus. Amazing things that people will say to keep from coming to church. Isn't that something? But you know, I want you to look at this text and Jesus tells this parable because he's at uh, a Pharisee's house. He's having dinner. Jesus, the Lord Jesus, God incarnate, God in human flesh. Y'all do know amen, that. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. He was God in the flesh. Amen. Paul said in 1 Timothy 3, 16, For without controversy, great is the mystery of Godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up in the glory. He was God. Amen. amen. I don't care what the Muslims say. I don't care what the Jehovah's Witness say. I don't care what the Mormons say. I'm telling you what the Bible says that Jesus Christ was eternal God who was manifested in the flesh. Amen? Amen. Not only that, y'all, he lived a perfect life. Never had a sinful thought, never committed a sinful deed, kept the Ten Commandments absolutely perfectly. Went to a cross where he paid a price that he didn't owe for your sins and my sins. Died, was put in a borrowed tomb, but early on the third day morning, he died up with all power in his hands. Somebody ought to say amen. See, a person can't really come clean until they realize that they are a sinner. Some people even in, in, in the world today believe that they'll inherit God's kingdom because of mama them. Help me somebody. Yeah. Huh? They'll think they'll inherit it because of the denomination that they're in. They think they'll inherit it because of the preachers that they sit down in front of. But I come to tell you today, you're wrong. The only way you can inherit the kingdom of God is you got to repent and believe the gospel. That Christ died, he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scripture. Look at it in verse 16. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bid. Huh? These that were bidden, y'all, were those who had received an invitation to the supper. It's strange between Tuesday and Sunday, mm -hmm. or Wednesday and Sunday, even Saturday and Sunday. What did happen? People will tell you, oh, I'll be there. I'll preach her. Oh, I will. I, look here. I'll be there if my life depends on it. <laughs> and I'm looking at it, I don't see me or one. <laughs> but look what happened. They were busy. There was an invitation that went out. When they got the invitation, they told the messenger, man, I'll be there. Ain't no problem. I'll be right now. I promise you, I'll be there. Verse 18. Huh? And they all with one accord, or with one consent, 
begin to do what? Make excuses. People will make excuses when it comes to God. Some people are going to excuse themselves right in the hell. Yeah. Help me somebody. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. They keep on putting off. And people don't realize the more you reject Jesus, the harder your heart. 